me. Give in to your pride. Show me your greatness. So second place, I believe, deck profile came. Uh, pilot, pilot, so bleh, English, English. Thomas Rose here piloted this to second place at the Brotherhood Regional this past weekend, playing Phantom Knight mashup with other jank. Uh, Jeff Jones's list basically from uh, back in the day. So uh, it doesn't look very particularly updated from uh, Gold because there's no Beatrice. Uh, or Burning Abyss cards, which you can argue is probably an objectively better deck, but he did get second place. Um, and yeah, so let's uh, just get into this. I mean, you guys pretty much know everything. Ghost Ogre, he's playing Mathematician, the Speedroid Engine, Triad Dice, it's a tuner. Uh, so that's the thing as well. Uh, you can uh, special this if you control Levier and then uh, and then Synchro with your Phantom Knights uh, instead of relying on Ghost Ogre and Itali to Synchro into Trishula. Trishula is big in this deck, really, really big. Um, yeah, just very kind of generic stuff. Cut down the ratios of the traps down to 2-2 two, two instead of 3-3. Three, three. Um, let me see, one flying scene side deck, Gamma Seal. Now, he's, this is an interesting sidecar. He's playing Mischief of the Yokai. Uh, those of you who don't know what this is, each face-up monster on the field loses two levels until the end phase. You can remove the, uh, from play this card from your graveyard to like one face-up monster, reduce its level by one until the end phase. This cannot be activated, turn it sent to grave. So you can mill this with Dante, for example, and... You can pretty much shut down your opponent's like turn, uh, uh, just just by milling it. So because it's millable, it like makes it really good. I think Mischief of the Gnomes is like another card that kind of does the same thing, except it reduces the level by one. Um, I mean, I'm not really too sure. Like, I think Gnomes m might have been a little bit better because it affects the hand as well instead of just the field. Because I mean, it's not like people are going to be playing rank twos and stuff in the mirror match or whatever, or you know. Something like that. I don't know. Nah. Bleh. Whatever. So, uh, yeah, he sent me some uh, theory. Let's see. Uh, round 1 beat uh, Shranui, then he beat the Mirror Match, then he lost to Cosmo, then he beat Gravekeepers, then he beat... What? <laughs> Gravekeepers? <laughs> okay. Gravekeepers X1 at round 4, sure. Uh, Draco Pals, and then Cosmo, and then Fant B, and then Monarch. So he came second place at 7-1. Remember, this is like a 150 to 200 man event, so a lot of people there. Biggest event in, in the UK. Um, Brotherhoods always gets good turnouts. Uh, the main uh, was uh, net decked from Jeff Jones uh, for Cardiff Regional last weekend, where he got third. But I thought there would be lots of BA PK hit this weekend, so I cut the main Dark Hole in one of each Phantom Knight Wing and Sword for Max C's. Cosmo's the toughest matchup, so I sided five for them. System Downs, Kaijus. And then Monarch with the Mask of Restricts come in and Dark Holes help disable domain, so you can use the extra deck. Mischief the Yokai is kind of cool because you can use it twice or get value if it's milled with Dante. Um, so no, I don't see any particular reason why you'd play Yokai over Gnomes. Uh, Gnomes seems like it's just objectively better. Like, it's only one level, but I mean, it's like, it's not level 3, so it's like, you know, it's going to mess up any deck that has like a consistent level range, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, Speedroid Terror Top is the main deck MVP. And Trishula can swing a game hugely if you can summon it. But most of the time you just churn out the advantage with Breaksword. That card is just way too strong. Yeah, Breaksword is really, really good. Popping cards, bringing guys back, making Nightmare against Pepe and Thanatos against Pepe is always really good if you can make it 3-3. Rebellion can be massive and just like gain so much advantage by constantly popping your own swords and back crow and shit like that. It's really good. So this has been your second place type of guys. Thanks for... Uh, Watching and stuff as usual, let me know in the comment section down below what you think, and I shall see you next time. Now that you've heard our whispers, it is only a matter of time until you belong.